Today we are talking about repotting orchids. So everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Latif and today we are talking about repotting orchids. It's a very simple and easy procedure. You don't need to repot your orchids all the time. You need to repot them from time to time. Uh, maybe once a year or something like that when the medium is already done and you need to put a new medium for them. Another thing I see on websites and on YouTube, people say you should repot your plants as soon as you get them from the stores. By plants, I mean orchids. Actually, you should not do that, especially if they are flowering. You will stress your plants. Wait till the flowering or the flowers fall off and they are done and you cut the stem from where you should where you should cut it <laughs> and then you just repot them then it's in the end of their season when you repot them if you put them when they are in the season you will stress the plant and it will stop flowering and will start to focus on putting in new roots and it's a mess just don't repot them i wouldn't I wouldn't repot them when I get them right away from the store. I will wait till the end of the season, then I will repot them. What do we need to put orchids or repot orchids? We'll need something like that. You can get it from the stores. If you cannot find it in the stores, you can get a bottle like this one. It's a, I think it's a soda bottle. I'm not encouraging anyone to run to the stores to drink a lot of soda and get unhealthy anyway if you get some of these bottles you just uh cut it like this i'll finish this in front of you i already sterilized this thing and you just cut it right there poke some holes in it and that's all you need that's your pot right now and actually i'll use it for this one that um repotting and you will need a moss called sphagnum moss sphagnum moss i'm not affiliated with the company so i'm not going to put any links down there you can just find them in any hardware store or nurseries or even online and i already sucked it in water for more than an hour and a half right now or two hours something like that so it's soft and moist and it is soggy. <laughs> so I don't need to water my plants after I repot them. Also in the end of the video, I'll show you how to water my, how am I going to water my orchids? And yeah, you should stay to the end of the video so you see for yourselves how we water our orchid the right way. As you see here, some of my plants really really in a big need for repotting and this one the roots still alive but it needs to be taken care of the thing about orchids they breathe and suck the moist from the air by their air roots they are very important so don't cut them or bury them all in the container what i would do i will leave some of them out and some few of them in the moss. This big one really, really need to be taken care of. Oh, look at all of that. This one, it's the one that was overwatered, and it is really in a very big need to be repotted. It's in a good condition though. You see the leaves are green and rubbery. So they are still alive. Only one thing is just to repot it in a new pot and this will be happy again. And I want to put it straight this way instead of just leaning on its side. Yeah, so let's do that. In order for us to replant this, we will need to clean it up from all this moss, old moss in it. Okay, we will just take this off it. You can see there's a lot of 
dead roots, which is okay. Okay, to cut the old roots, all the dead, unhappy. And here we go. Let me see if I can show you on the camera. These are unhappy roots. It's very clean right now. It's clean to me. Looks happy. Right, that's a lot of debris and other things. But also, there is a lot of good inner roots. I will repot some of them inside of the moss, and the rest it will be outside. I'm not going to repot every single root inside. Just a few of them, like this. The other ones will be up. Only the ones that I can put inside of the pot, like that. There we go. Just like this. I'll go wash this one and come back. It doesn't need to be washed, but I'll wash it just in case, just to make sure it's clean. I have another one for you guys here. This is a miniature one. I haven't uh, repot it in about two years now since I bought it. Looks so nice. Uh, actually, I think this is a gift from a friend of mine. Anyway, so I will just take care of that. That's why I don't like bark. Some people put bark with the moss. I don't put bark with the moss because bark will rot. Don't I don't put bark in in the medium that I use for my orchids and you can see here this one i don't know how they did this they put it in in, in a potting earth that they, i think this is some kind of i'm just discovering this with you guys okay i'm just discovering this and i I think this is a seeding thing or a sponge or something. I don't know what that is. I'll need to get rid of it. Good thing it has air roots here and one, two, three, few green roots. I'll take that. I don't mind. I'll do the same with this one. I don't mind getting a little bit aggressive with the roots here just to get rid of this thing. I don't know what that is. Oh. Here we go, we got rid of that. Need to get rid of it from here. Here we go. See, it's even green roots that I got rid of because of this thing. Sad. Yeah, anyway, somebody just put it that way. I will wash this and come back to you. Okay, so I washed these. And as you see, they are very clean. Make sure there is no water inside of these leaves. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. If there is some water, you just open the windows in the day so that doesn't stay there. Just make sure that doesn't the water doesn't stay in there because the, the leaves will, will rot. Okay, what I will do, I'll put some of this, I'll squeeze the whole, all the water most of the water from the moss as much as I can here we go as much as I can and I will put some of it there just to fill the bottom of it I will get more here we go I'll get more put it there Check to see if these fits there with no problem. I think they do. There we go. And I still have a lot of these air roots out. So what I will do, 
I'll get a lot of this and squeeze the water. Here we go. We squeeze the water all the way. It's almost dry now. And I will do this. I will hug and wrap the lower roots with the moss, just like that, as you see. Then I take that and put it in the pot. Like that, pour it. Like this, I put it in the pot. It's not, I'm happy. I'll get more of these. More moss. Get some water. No worries if I still have some water. I'll put more. I'll put more here. Cover most of these roots. Then we'll get more. I'm not worried about this because the roots are going to get a lot of moist also. So it's no big deal if you don't have more roots here. Yeah, it's no big deal if you don't have a lot of roots inside of the pot. That's not a problem. That is not a problem. Uh, oh. I think a little bit more on this side. Put this one here too on this side. Like that. And put it all the way down. And I'll put, push them all the way down, as you see. There you go. There you go. And, and that is a great pudding. We'll do the same thing here for these miniature, miniature small ones. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And <laughs> squeeze, 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 squeeze them. Squeeze the moss. And you're not gonna wear them for a few days. Don't worry. That must will do the job for the next week or so. So it's dry. Okay, now I'll do the same with it there for the first one. And I'll throw the here. How do I just wrap them? Wrap them. Moss. Put that down there. Put more moss on that. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to show you these things, guys. Really, I'm so excited. Sometimes I like to make people happy and smile. That's all. There's nothing better than a smile on people's face. That's good. Voila. There you go. You're not going to water this for another week or two. It's already having a lot of water and moisture and air roots. Okay, so we got back for the watering. All right, I have fertilizer here and it's, I think, 1931.17. Uh, I'm not affiliated with the company, so I'm not going to put any link down there. This is for the sake of demo for you guys. That's all. And that's what I use for watering my plants. And I brought this water to show you the other way of doing this. All right. So the way I water my plants is I'll get, because they are flowering already, I'll get a small spoon of this fertilizer. Just a very small amount of it and drop it there there you go that's it I will shake it I will stir it okay, stir it and as you see this one has two stems on it it's beautiful I haven't watered this since my first video about what is today about 14 days ago yeah it's been 14 days since i watered those and look how beautiful they are look how beautiful they are still flowering still green and the roots are happy 
And yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. And that's how much water I'll be putting for those. That's from this side. I'll turn it. And that's from this side. And I don't let the water go to the leaves. It's just here. And that's the most, that's it. That's all the water I'm putting for this plant. I'll use this one to show you the second way of watering uh, the orchids. This one I got about two years ago and it's still flowering every single year. It comes back every year. And I haven't watered this for a while and I didn't even repot it since I bought it from the store. And you can see the tag over here on it. Okay. And the only thing you can do, you do, is this. You put it in the water, wait for the water to come in, and soak it for a while, and then take it out. Most people do that. I do not prefer this method, but many people do it. Many people like it. I don't like it. It's a lot of work carrying this ball around and having about 15 orchids to water, that is not the good method. This is the best method. Just take the water, drop it there, and drop some here. Voila! That is your plant being watered and happy. And that was all for today about orchid that was it for today and i hope that you found the information helpful thank you for watching the video don't forget the hit to hit the like button and subscribe share the video with your friends and family and let's put a smile on somebody's face next video will be about houseplants that flowers but are not orchids not only orchids have flowers in houseplants Stay tuned and watch the next video. See you.